The big risk with chat is this is a potential interruption factory for your team. It would be my preference that we didn't have instant messaging. Some very radical businesses don't, but teams tend to then rely on email for internal communication, which is the worst. So a healthy middle ground is to use something like Asana or Trello or Monday or ClickUp or any of the online shared task and project collaboration tools, which allow threaded responses and they have you know really great task management for internal work coordination. I always say use those as a, as a primary work tool, but there are still those instances, particularly if you have a team that are geographically distributed, where you're gonna need to like check in with someone on something quickly. Like, oh, hey, how's that project? How's that project going? Are you, are you free right now for a quick catch up? Or, hey, I haven't heard from that client yet. Could you, could you follow them up on that particular task? So that's when instant messaging comes into play and it's inevitable that we, that we need to make use of it. But with both an intelligent task, shared task management system and minimal use of chat, you should be able to completely eliminate any internal emails inside your company. You, there should not be a need for internal emails. Email should be the interface between you and the outside world or your company, your staff and the outside world. Your internal communication tools uh, should be what you do to get your work done. The risk of doing any internal communication inside email is it keeps your team stuck in email all day long. And we don't want that because they're getting the dopamine hits of the new exciting emails coming in their inbox all day and all of a sudden you're spending six, seven hours a day with your inbox open. And that's why people need the notifications because they say, oh, well, I need to see if anything comes through. Uh-uh, not true if you can move your important work out of email and just keep email for external communication. Now, not many people expect an email response within eight hours or six hours, unless, you, because if it was that urgent, they'd pick up the phone. If you are a customer service or a help desk company and you have a dedicated team manning a help desk, that's a different story. It's their job to be on email all day long. And for our team, that's our help mailbox. And you know, we have that configured accordingly. Hopefully what we wanna get you to the point where is, you know, where it is you, you have your team communicating on the appropriate platforms for the utmost productivity for everyone that's in your business. That's, that's the idea here. So email is for communicating, just to summarize, email is for communicating with the outside world, your task and your work coordination, you wanna have some kind of task management system. We're global Asana partners, by the way, got heaps of info and videos and stuff on that. If you wanna chat about that, our team will help. But number three, we're gonna use chat as minimal as possible. So let's talk about how we can get our notifications configured correctly to do that. So inside, we're gonna to go to settings. Because I have my notifications very, very fine tuned, I have recently switched on sounds just to test it out. For most people, I would say if you have a large team and you're receiving a lot of notifications, I would switch off the sounds because that's just going to you know, trigger distractions. But if you seldom receive messages, if you're in an executive position, you, you can switch on sounds. That's cool. Chat notifications, same thing. If you're in a role where you're getting a lot of chat traffic, I'd, I'd probably switch off the notifications so you can focus more on important work and then come to chat when you need to check in with the team. But that's up to you. I switch off the email notifications and make sure smart reply is switched on. Now, in an individual room, you can configure the notifications for that room, which is which is pretty groovy. So in the team room here, I'm just gonna click the team room and I'm gonna go to notifications. So in the team room, you can see I've got the option to notify always, notify less, or notifications off. Now for most rooms that I'm a part of, I'm gonna switch to notify less. So basically, I'm only gonna get a notification where I've been mentioned by name or if I'm following a specific thread. If it's the kind of thing where you wanna monitor anytime someone opens a new thread in the room, you can tick that box and, and new threads you'll follow automatically, but I, I actually leave that off. So I click notify less, I'm gonna drop that in here. And then you'll see here that I now have the follow button here. So anytime I reply to a thread, it's gonna automatically make me a follower of the thread. See how it turned that into following automatically? So any thread that I'm participating in, I'm gonna automatically be a follower and I'm gonna get notified anytime there are new responses. But if the team are having their own chat here and I'm not included, then I won't get any notifications until someone mentions me by name or they, or they mention the whole room. And what this does is when you have these rooms set up, it allows you to really see what's going on in the buzz of your team and the buzz of your company without having to, and particularly if your team are distributed, without having to you know, breathe down people's necks or monitor computers or you know, hit them up one-on-one. -on -one. You can just kind of see what the team are up to day to day. So the team are 
I think, chatting away here. Um, and that's just gonna automatically, automatically update that. Now, if you haven't used threads before or you haven't seen threads before, I do have a video on the channel which um, takes you through all the, all the newbie tips on chat, but this is the number one thing or the, the two or three things that you need to learn. Number one, Angel's done this excellent example here. If you wanna start a new thread, you put the title of the thread first and then you start typing away. So here is my title. And then you start typing away with your actual message. And what that does is it actually keeps the title of the thread up at the top of the chat. So you can see here, we've got a whole bunch of people in our, there's 13 people in our attract team. You can see boot camp crew is there, but when you get a really big thread like this one, it's got over hundred messages in it. You can see, I know, okay, this is the bootcamp thread just by looking at the top of the thread because Angel's put that title in there. So that's just a little bit of kind of like rooms etiquette where the first little message that you put in there is the title of the thread. And then, yeah, the rest is there. So, you know, Instagram Reels is that one. They'll, they'll all kind of roll up nicely. Now, the one thing that Slack has got over this is it's not quite as tidy as Slack when you've got long responses and stuff, but um, you'll, you'll get used to it. The cool thing is, for example, you know, with this thread, which has hundreds of responses at any point if I want to like kind of exit myself in the conversation and the other team will just continue their chat I can just hit the follow button I'm unfollowed and then team can continue chatting away and so that kind of leaves it for others to chat away and they don't need to bother me but I can jump back in there at any point don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and if you need more help with your Google Workspace account, there's four ways that we can help. Number one, join our free community group where others in the community help support each other with the Google Workspace accounts and I'm in there from time to time answering questions as well. Number two, take advantage of our free transfer in offer to get a bunch of additional value for your Workspace account just for transferring your billing over to IT Genius. Number three, you can take advantage of a free consultation if you qualify or an IT systems check and audit for everything technology in your business. And number four, if you need help right now, you can either join our concierge program or book a one-time fix-it service to get support from our professional support team for everything workspace and the Google ecosystem. See you in the next one.